One of the great things about the new turbocharged engines is that the series can make power adjustments between different types of circuits, let's say from an oval to a road course. And now, with the introduction of push to pass, that change is almost instantaneous. When a driver hits the push to pass button, it tells the ECU, or engine control unit, to raise that turbocharger boost. Now, of course, the turbocharger in this case, on a twin turbo, sits off to the side, so the exhaust comes off, and it uses what would have been wasted energy to spin a turbine, and then spin a compressor that compresses or boosts the air into the engine. Now, the way you control that boost and the speed of the turbo is through a wastegate. Maybe you should think of it as kind of like a garden hose. Put your thumb over the garden hose, that closes it off, spins up the turbo, and then feeds off, keeping the speed exactly what you want. With the push to pass, you not only get more power, and the power increase is about 30 to 40 horsepower, you also get 200 RPM. It seems to be just about perfect that this is now push to not guaranteed pass, but push to I really have to work at it pass.